fire just exploded out of nowhere. I better run. Uh, I was supposed to meet Lim up here. I hope he's okay. Hey! This is our rooftop! You can't be here! It's about to get smashed by a falling spire if we don't all get out of here. Oh, yeah. You're gonna have to fight us if you want to get by! I'd help anyone in trouble. Um, I have to tell you something. You know how you let me borrow your time winder? I lost it. Well, it got stolen. This kid with a giant hammer pushed me around and took it. I'll get it back, Lim. You should run back to the hideout. It's dangerous out here. Thanks, Echo. You're the best. Whoa! It even feels more powerful. <laughs> ah, I know just who to try this out on. Hey, are you the ones that pushed Lim? Who took the time winder? <laughs> Maybe. What's it to you? What are you doing with all that orange stuff? Pop some of that orange crystal crap from the spire into the chamber of my armor and whoosh! Ah, it's gonna be good. Is it some kind of Hextech crystal? Those aren't usually orange. I don't know, and I don't care. All that matters is it works! Have a time! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nice. Feels good to have my time winder back. Can't let good tech fall into bad hands. Now I'd better head into the market hub. Make sure everyone's okay. Hey, Red, Axamander, you all right? Hey, Echo. We're totally fine. We were in the hideout when the spire exploded. Just came to see if there was any damage out here. Yeah, we've seen tons of scrappers gearing up to start sorting through the wreckage. It did some real damage to the city, but there's probably some good inventing materials that came from that spire. I hear the Poindestras have been hiring kids to do their dirty work. Not just that. I've seen some guards from Piltover walking around Entrasol today. I think they're down here on a secret mission. Can't they just keep out of our city and mind their own business for once? Maybe I'll have to go take a look at that spire damage myself. Echo, don't you think you should be careful if there's Pilties and Poindestra prowlers around? Nah, Red. They've got to watch out for me. I should check that my parents' apartment didn't get damaged. Then I'll see you two later. <laughs> Bye, Echo. Ellie! Those Poindestra twins evicted you after all? I always thought Drake and Vale were just socialites. Now 
that they're handling the family business? The way they treat regular people is messed up. Yeah, it's definitely weird. But Kor and Revik helped me get us a new spot here, so I'll be close to everybody now anyway. Awesome. Need any help getting set up? Nah, it's okay. <sighs> I've got to sort this stuff first anyway. Nice. Well, I'll catch you later, Ellie. We're a resilient bunch down here, that's for sure. Spire collapse or not, the day must go on. Speaking of which, looks like Corn Revic needs some help. You've already stolen enough of my clockwork creations. Leave me alone! Ha! You couldn't catch us if you tried, old man! Is something wrong here? No. We're just, uh, leaving. But you'll be seeing us around, Echo. Who were they? Those twerps have taken my best clockwork figurines and hidden them all around Zaun. I won't have anything to sell if this keeps up. I'll keep an eye out for them, Mr. Revik. Thanks, Echo. You're a good boy. I'll give you a few cogs for whatever you can bring me. Deal. See you later. <laughs> hey, Rungs. Standing guard? On watch? Gotta stay vigilant, Echo. It's quiet now, but there were a few chempunk gangs running through here a while back. <laughs> yeah, I met some on my way here. There's clan pharaoh's guards from Piltover walking around now, too. Can't stand seeing them act almighty in Zon. You don't need to tell me twice. I've got no love for Pilties. Fair enough. Oh, hey, thanks for letting me borrow these. <laughs> They're fun, right? They certainly make getting around Entrasol easier. Hey, my inventions always do. See you later, Runks. A spire owned by Kim Barons blows up. Some sort of sparkly orange compound makes super weapons, and now guards are coming down from Piltover? I don't like that. This might not be a typical day in Zon after all. <laughs> Those are some of the Clan Pharaoh's guards my friends were telling me about. What are they doing down in Zon? Is the air in Piltover too fresh today? Hey, what are you doing here? Parents aren't home yet, right? What the hell do you want with my parents? Or me? I'm here because I need your help. Yeah, I don't help people who hide in gardens or spy on my family. Get out of here. Or else. <laughs> Slow down. Seriously? You've got to go. Take your time, <laughs> Watch what you're doing. <coughs> ah, you're messy. <coughs> ah, you're messy. <coughs> Seriously. If you would just listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm you. From the future. Wait, what? I invent time travel? Why didn't you just say that? What are you doing here? Why'd you have a hood on? Because it was raining. And because I wasn't sure if you would trust me. I need your help. I'm here to investigate something in the past. The spire collapse? Mmm, smart. I was a bright kid. What's going on? Is it something to do with the Poindestras? Or all the Pharaoh's guards I've seen around today? Echo! You home? <sighs> hmm. Now's not gonna be a great time to talk. Do you know the Watlick power plant? Yeah, sure. In factory wood. Closed down last year. Totally empty. <laughs> well, not for long. Meet me there, and I'll explain everything. Echo! 
See you soon, kid. Better see what my dad wants. And then go meet up with myself. From the future! Hi. Ah, then there were three. Hello, little man. <laughs> you're actually home before us for once. Don't get used to it. I'm glad to see you're both home and safe. That spire collapse was bad. Luckily for us, most of that spire fell in the decommission zone of Factory Wood. All we felt were a few tremors. But we got the rest of the day off work anyway. There's all this orange muck around. I don't know what materials the Poindesters are working with these days, but it's a mess now. It's a shame. The Poindestra siblings are all that's left of that Kimbaran family. And I hear, they're not the nicest people either. I can't stick around, but you sure you two are okay? We'll be just fine. You take care of yourself out there, Echo. So, Factory Wood's closed from the spire falling on it, and me from the future wants to meet up there. This is getting interesting. Hey, I remember making these. Maybe they'll come in handy later. You're in a hurry. Something interesting is going on. I'm on my way to the Watlick power plant. Sounds like there could be trouble. Need backup? Not yet, but I'll let you know if it comes to that. Cool. Well, I can at least show you a new move or two. <laughs> Thanks, Rungs. Hey, Ellie. The shop is looking good. Thanks, Echo. Now I just need some inspiration. And some dyes. If you spot stuff around Zon that could be used for dyeing fabric, could you pick it up for me? Oh, yeah. Sure thing. Sweet. I can use them to spice up your look, if you want. I didn't know I needed a change. <laughs> uh, thanks, Ellie. I might take you up on that. Doesn't hurt to keep things fresh. You know where to find me if you ever want an update. That's Vale Point Destra, who just evicted Ellie. We're not paying you to be scaredy rats. Just go look around Watlick and collect as much Sintixie as you can. Okay. It's just inside? A bunch of it crashed and burned through the entire building when the spire fell, so yes, it's probably somewhere inside. Yes, Miss Poindestra. The Watlick power plant has been empty for a year, and now there's something the Poindestras want inside, and possibly Future Echo too. Future Echo told me to meet him at the Watlick power plant. I wonder if he'll tell me any more about stuff that happens in the future. Hey there, future me. Haven't seen factory wood like this in a long time. Does it change a lot in the future? It's different. Good different, bad different, uh, just different. Look, we can stand around talking about the future later. What I'm interested in now is the past. You sure are impatient for someone with a zero drive. Yeah, well, I guess some things don't change with age. All right. So what are we getting up to today? First, we're going in. Time to focus. I'm here to investigate something. Something kind of secret. Have you heard of Syntixi crystals? No, I, I haven't. Here's a short version. The regular Hextech crystals you see people use in Piltover are powerful, rare, and expensive. Getting your hands on a whole one is tough for folks down here in Zaun, but often a shard will do. Your Zero Drive knows all about that. Most of the Hextech trade in Piltover is controlled by clan pharaohs. They're also the ones who decided to try manufacturing a synthetic version in Zaun. Enter the Poindestras one of the richest Kimbaran families. They often take on experimental projects, and well, it seemed like it might be a good partnership for Clan Pharaohs. But the Poindestra saw an opportunity. 
Instead of making synthetic crystals for Clan Pharaohs, they use the resources to create their own lab rip compound called Zintixi. They're just as powerful, extremely unstable, and can explode without much warning. In the wrong hands, they could wipe out the city entirely. Clan Pharaohs halted production as soon as word reached Piltover that they had been tricked. It was too late. The Poindestras had made enough Syntixi to do anything they wanted. Uh, all right, so why are you here? The Poindestra spire fell this morning. Inside of it was the Poindestra Syntixi stash, enough to rival the Hextech vault in Pharaoh's Manor. There was a chain reaction, and now they're scattered all over the city. So Zahn is in trouble right now? Not yet. I'm here because in the future, the Poindestras and the Syntixi cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, so that's where we come in. Exactly. If we can gather up the Syntixi ourselves before the Poindestras do, we'll be keeping the city safe from a devastating future. So what do you think? You in? Hell yeah! Let's get some Syntixi! It's best if we split up. Shout for me if you find anything resembling Syntixi crystals. What will you do? I'm going to look through the east wing of the building, or what's left of it. I'll catch up with you soon. Huh. Can't go that way. things can move, but it doesn't seem like they're getting any power. Echo. Echo? Can you hear me? Uh, future Echo? How are you doing that? Ultra low wave synchronization. Put two zero drives together and amazing things can happen. <gasps> awesome! Hey, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Do you know how to get things moving around here? Actually, I found a power room. Hold on a sec. Hey, that worked. Thanks. No problem, kid. Here we go. Into the crushers. He's paying us how much? By whatever we can carry. And do you think he'll stick to his word? It's Zarkon Poindestra. He's just inherited a fortune, has a suit literally made of gold, and, and is desperate for these spangly orange crystals. What do you think he wants them for? Who knows? Who cares? Guess we're not the only ones after Syntixi in here. Oh, so that's Syntixi? Definitely not your everyday crystal. Oh, tingly. How's it hanging, guys? Echo to future Echo, do you read me? I found some Syntixi, but I think I'm stuck again. Got any more power switches nearby? As a matter of fact, seems like when one door opens, another closes around here. Probably security measures from when this was a working chemtech plant. I'm sure I could invent a way to get past a few of these paths. Anyway, thanks. Hey! This is private property! You're not supposed to be here! Uh... Neither are you! Yeah? Well... Zarkon's paying me to keep nosy lumps like you out of here! So it's time to go! interesting. I wonder. <laughs> now this is gonna be good. Hey, future me? How did you get this far into the past? Some kind of modification of the zero drive? 
You're not trying to build my tech in your timeline, are you? I call it the Chrono Port. It allows me to jump to any point along a path that I've already experienced. Ooh. I bet that uses up a ton of energy, though. Definitely. I haven't quite perfected it yet, and I've burned through Chronoport prototypes like you wouldn't believe. They don't last me. It's kind of nice to have someone to talk to about this stuff. I'm always down to talk about it in <laughs> I hope I'm getting more of these than those hired grabbers. Hmm. One door opening really does close another one. I've got a totally new path now. What's the point of paying you lot if I have to do everything myself anyway? Keep searching. We've got to move quickly. I've got lots of Syntixi for future Echo now. Maybe I should try my new invention on the fan that's in the room with all the radiation suits. I bet I could get to Watlick's core that way too. I wonder how much of what I'm doing is Future Echo's original path, and how much is new. If I do something in my present, does it change him in the present, or me in the future? Huh. Time is weird like that. Huh. Never thought I'd see Zarkon Poindestra getting his hands dirty in factory wood. No autographs, kid. I'm here on business. No time to prattle on with snot-nosed urchins. Ah, so you're here looking for Syntixi too, huh? What do you know? Are you working for Clan Pharos? What are you talking about? Now listen here. These crystals belong to my family. You keep your grubby little hands off them, and I won't pulverize you into smithereens. Dear, run along now. Hmm. No, I don't think so. <laughs> You're lost, boy. Zarkon doesn't like to leave witnesses behind. are no joke. This guy is intense. Right now we have a more immediate problem. There's a group of Pharaoh's guards in the building. We've got to get out of here. Sarkon had all the Syntixi he collected lifted out of here. Let's let the Pilties deal with him. Which way is out? This way. Echo! So, the Poindestras are trying to get all their Syntixi back. And Zarkon seemed to think I was working for Clan Pharos for some reason. Do you know what that's about? He's paranoid? And probably scared of Clan Pharos claiming his family's invention. But you and I still have work to do. Zarkon got away with most of the crystals, but I think I know where we can get more before he does. Here are all the crystals I found in the power plant. Uh, 
be okay if I check on my friends for a minute? Maybe patch up my gear? Sure. I'll meet you around the other side. What was that? Yo, you seriously have the best tech in all of Zon and Piltover combined. And you'll work it out. Eventually. Echo, I'm just on my way out. Cool. Stay safe out there, Red. I'm meeting some new friends. Actually, you might know them. The Inks? Who? Just this cool group of people I met. They have all these jam sessions around Zon and put on these awesome shows. They're really chill. And like, obsessed with the Jinx. But just her style, not the blowing stuff up part. Okay, well, be safe. You're not mad, are you? What? No way. We'll always be friends. No matter who else you hang out with. <laughs> All right, cool. Catch you later, Echo. Hmm. Sounds like those graspers who stole from Corrin Revit. Hopefully they won't cause as much trouble in Zon as Jinx does. Oh, hey, Echo. Look, I I'm helping out this little guy. He's had a tough time out in the Zon today. Look at how dusty he is. I'm calling him Trevor. He sure is cute. Lucky to have you. I've been getting all the tools and supplies from the hideout into one spot. This is a great place to fix up new gear. Hey, that's an important job. I'll give you some cogs if you keep the workshop organized for me. <gasps> oh boy! Does that make me your inventing assistant? <laughs> sure thing, Lim. I guess I'll see you later, Echo. Hey, Rungs. Uh, say, where would you go in Zon to look for something that's gone missing? Easy. I'd start in the sump. Everything in Zon ends up there sooner or later. Huh. That's true. All right. Catch you later. Hey, X! I saw one of those golden scrambots today. Sweet. I figured out what they are. This inventor from Old Zon made these golems as portable vaults to hide things in. When he died, they all ran free and took his treasure with them. <laughs> I guess I'm going on a treasure hunt. Let me know if you find any more, and I'll make it worth your trouble. I love a look into the past. It will do. <laughs> so, how is everyone? Oh, they're good. Oh, yeah. You were friends with them all, too. Sure. It's been a while, though. I did some calculations on the direction the Centixi fell. Most of it went in factory wood, but a bunch of it would have fallen down further. The sump. The municipal lost and found. It's true. I lost my blowtorch once. I remember. I found it in the sump. It was covered in sludge, but it was there. Right. All the currents from the pipe network converge here. And I'll bet some Centixis washed up there too. Exactly. And there's only one way to know for sure. Ah! Oh, oh, I landed on my... Uh, time winder. You'll be fine. While we're on this magical adventure, just remember, if I get horribly mangled and broken along the way, you get to enjoy the pain in your old age. <laughs> Noted. Oh, the sump. Grim as ever. Yeah, it's dark too. How are we gonna find some Tixi down here if we can't see anything? Whatever you do, don't stay in the dark too long. You don't want to know what's lurking down here. There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. When the scrappers go to work, right? Right. We'll cover more ground if we split up. I'll come find you later. Hey, uh, how do you get around in the darkness? We use the moth nests. Give it a shake, and the lights turn on, eh? <laughs> uh, cool. Thanks. Uh, be careful down here, kid. All kinds of things in the sump. We were right. There are crystals down here. Hey, 
Found a crystal, but also found some of those Poindestra goons. They're searching down here, too. Well, let's hope Zarkon didn't feel like a trip to the sump today. And those are the only people you meet down here. No kidding. This place is bad enough as it is. We'll be fine. We've got time on our side. <laughs> sure. See you soon. Phew. A little light will make things easier. Or just illuminate all the creepy stuff down here. Seems I have a few new spots to check out in the sump. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Do you know how long I've been waiting? This place is abominable. Um, what? I found a bit of Syntixi down here while supervising things, but I'm not carrying it. Isn't that what Zarkon hired you for? Oh, y yeah, yeah, Sh sure, yeah. I'll take that Syntixi, no prob. Wait a second. You're the brat that does that time thingy. You're the one who's been fumbling up our plans. I've heard all about you and your little tricks. Uh, good things, I hope. Let's see how inventive you really are. Echo isn't the only one who can zap around now. This isn't over, Echo. Look at that. He left his Syntixi behind. <laughs> what is in there? I hope Future Echo has gotten a bunch of Syntixi too, and then we can get out of this place. Hey, you're not one of us. You shouldn't be down here. Definitely not, but I'm gonna keep walking around anyway. You're done for once we get over there. Or, uh, uh, you get over here. Uh, hello? Still there? Is anyone there? Hope Future Echo isn't too far off. And another. Are you done yet? Actually, I think we are. There's a bridge to the east of these tunnels. I'll meet you there. Deal. I think I'm done hanging out in the sun for a while. This place is creepy. Hey, have you seen any weird creatures down here going after the Boing Destra goons? No, I've been keeping to myself down here. 
Hands off and out of sight. Weird. There's... Oh, man. Where is he? Echo! Oh, what's that? You made it to the... Shit. Is that... Oh, no, no. Run, Echo! Run! You're in my hunting ground. Hey, hey. Uh, who's a good boy? Get out of there, Echo! Ten steps ahead of you! Take it. Echo, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I I'm, I'm okay. You're gonna end him, right? What? Warwick almost killed you. 
I've seen what he does to Zahn in the future. We could stop all that pain right now. I, I don't know. Even if that's true, I, I can't just kill him while he's down. I know how you're feeling. Trust me. But think about how many hundreds of people this beast has already harmed. One death here, and thousands are going to be saved. I, I mean, th there has to be another way to handle this. He may be dangerous, but, but I can't just... There's Echo! Get him! We're getting out of here. Come on! <sighs> Whoa. Is he still alive? Echo? Hold up. Hasn't it occurred to you that by coming back in time, you've already interfered with my present? That you're changing me and you <laughs> just by being here? And, and maybe that's not such a bad thing. You changing? What's that supposed to mean? You wanted me to kill Warwick! Look, I'm not the monster here. You could have fooled me. Listen to me. There are things that you will have to do to be the person Zahn needs you to be. I don't know what happens in the future, but I never want to be you. Echo, I'm not this evil version of you. I came from you. We're the same person. We're not the same. I care about people. I care about Zahn. This isn't... I don't think you're understanding me. I want to show you something. Come on. I want you to see something. What are we doing here? You're taking my chrono port. I'm sending you ahead. Where everything is changing and you can't rely on people to look after you anymore. Ahead? Like, to th the future? You'll have a stronger rewind there. So you can see how many tries it takes to get things to work a certain way. Talk to our parents. See what happens. And what? What am I supposed to find? See for yourself. Whoa. Zahn has certainly looked better. You're not supposed to be out after dark without a gas mask on. What? What for? It's a city-wide mandate. Either get a gas mask on or get inside. What are you out here for? You're not bothering my parents, are you? I'm not gonna tell you again. Fine. Fine. Echo? What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting to see you today. Hey, Dad. Just stopping by, I guess. Well, that's nice of you. What's with all the boxes? We packed up your stuff, and we were going to leave it for whenever you plan to come back. Leave it? W where are you going? Your mom and I are leaving Zon. Indefinitely. Whoa. W what? W why? It's not the city it used to be. It's polluted and dangerous... Things are bad between Piltover and Zahn. We're working harder than ever just to barely survive. And you weren't going to tell me? We don't see you, Echo. We never know where you are or when you'll come home. And the last time we did talk, it, it didn't go so well. But... Zahn is your home. Does this place look like a home to you? Where's Mom? She's in the other room. Catching her breath. Echo, go easy on her. Please.
Echo, hi. Hi, Mom. What is that? An air tank. I kept getting lung blight from the gray, so we had one installed. Oh. I'm so sorry. Dad told me you're thinking of moving out of Zon. We aren't thinking about it. We've decided. We're leaving tonight. Um, what? So if I didn't come home just now, I, I would have never... Never seen you two again? I didn't know if you wanted to see us again. You weren't very happy with us the last time we spoke. I I'm sorry, but you, you can't leave Zon. This... This is where we belong. Not anymore, Echo. The city has changed, and you're living your own life without us. All we have is each other. And we choose to find a new home. Son, I think you'd better go. Your mom needs to rest before we leave, and you being here isn't helping. But, but, but... Thanks for stopping by. Good luck, Echo. What did Future Echo do to our parents to make them want to move out of Zon forever? This is what he sent me to the future to fix. To stop our parents from leaving the city. All right. Time to try this one again. See if I can do things differently to get them to stay. You're not supposed to be out after dark without a gas mask on. Hey, sorry. I I'm just on my way to go get it. Say, what happened to make the Zon Gray so thick and hard to breathe in? <sighs> Syntixi manufacturing has a lot of nasty byproducts. Well, that and whatever Piltover's been dumping down here. Oh, no. Piltover's trash pile in the future? A lot of folks think it's just another intrusion into Zon, but I think Piltover's trying to bury us. That's messed up. It's downright nasty, but that's where it's at. Not that we haven't done our share of nasty things to them. What do you mean? You need to get moving, kid. Go on, get inside. Echo? What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting to see you today. Hey, Dad. I, I know. I, um, heard that you and Mom are leaving the city, and I wanted to see you. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's really nice. I, I, I didn't think we'd see you again. Hey, we've got these boxes packed up with your things. You, you want to look through and see if you want to keep any of it? Oh, yeah. Sure. That's the bunting from the Sun Parade years ago. It was always the highlight of the year. Mark when the sun was at the highest point over Zon, and when we got the most sunlight. Well, we don't get any sunlight anymore. So there's no parade. You want to keep that stuff? Sure. Yeah, I'll keep that one. Oh, no way. Haven't seen those shoes in a long time. Man, this is a real trip. <laughs> that they don't fit anymore, though. You want them? Nah, nah, it's okay. I'll give them to someone who can use them. These are some of my earliest inventions. You had a sharp mind, even as a youngster. Well, that's that then. Your mom is resting up a bit more, and then we're heading out, taking the rising howl 
out of the city. Right. So, I, I came by because I didn't want you to leave with anything unsaid. All right. What do you want to say? Where are you going to go? Do you have a place in mind? For the first time, we have no plan. It's scary, but it's exciting, too. We're going to get on the Rising Howl, get to the Piltoba Harbor, look for free spots on the boat, and then sail through the Sun Gates to somewhere new. Wow. You're adventurers. <laughs> I've never been called that before. How is mom doing? She's a real trooper. Lung blight has been so bad across the city lately, and she's had a few rough cases of it. I don't think she's like slowing down so much and not doing things for herself. I could see that. We're all doing our best during these dark times, but no one's invincible. I've got to be honest with you, son. I'm not sure what you're aiming at. Coming back here and asking these questions. Dad, I'm, I'm here because you can't leave Zahn. I, I don't fully understand what happened between us in the past, but I, I, I want to make things better. I, I believe we can be a family again. It's too late for that. You can't just come in here at the last minute and expect us to give in while you disappear for months again. But it won't be like that. I can't keep up with you anymore, Echo. You, you, you mix up with a, with a strange crowd and getting involved with all kinds of schemes, and I, I don't know who you are or what you want. And so I... I think you better leave. What? Come get your things when you want them, but your mom and I want to leave in peace. And you are not letting us do that. Okay. Yeah, fine. Go in peace. So that didn't work. But I learned some things. Zahn is turning into a wasteland. My parents are unhappy with how things have changed. And future Echo is making some questionable choices. Let me try this again. I'll focus on how I can make Zahn better for them and... Maybe I'll try talking to Mom instead. Mom always said never to show up at someone's house empty-handed. There's gotta be some flowers still growing around here. Hey! You're not supposed to be out after dark without a gas mask on. Ah, uh, oops. Uh, thanks for the reminder. There's gotta be some flowers still growing around here. <clears throat> flowers! Mom loves flowers. What would she like best? Clove Mary. It's for remembering. I remember she would dry it out in our kitchen when I was a kid. This is good. Time to see if mom accepts a peace offering. Siren. A flower representing hope. Mom used to have a perfume with siren in it. Hexlock. It supposedly protects from pain. It's not really from Hextech, but the petals are the same color. Get inside, kid. It's not safe out here. Oh, yeah! Echo, what are you doing here? I wasn't expecting you today. Hey, Dad. Look, I, I know you're leaving Zahn, and 
that mom isn't well and I wanted to talk to her. Can I go in? Sure. Don't get her upset, though. She needs to rest before a journey. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Echo, hi. Hey, Mom. I brought you these. Wow, Echo. This is a lovely gesture. These are all meaningful flowers to me. I was hoping we could talk. What do you want to talk about? If you could change anything about what Zahn's become, what would it be? Huh. Uh, that's quite a list. Huh? I'd start with stopping all the fighting, down here and in Piltover. Then... I'd make the Poindestras stop being war barons and atone for all they've done. I'd stop Syntixi production and make sure no one ever uses it again. And turn the whole city into one massive cultivator so we could all breathe normally. And I'd see you more often. I bet I could fix all those things. And of course you do, Echo. You want to control everything that happens in Zon, but the truth is, you can't. Mom, what do you know about Syntixi? What does anyone know about it? The Poindestras claimed it was supposed to be a power source that rivaled Hextech, but it's nothing like that. And they barely even use it for power now. They put it in weapons and aim into Piltover. Sounds like the Zarkon I know. Why are you asking me this? You probably know more about Syntixi than me. Why is that? You're the one always getting fancy invites from Kim Barons and inventors. Come visit my laboratory or join us for dinner to discuss a business matter. I don't know how involved you are with those people, but I imagine you hear a lot of things that go on in those circles. Whoa. That's unexpected. Huh? What are you afraid of happening? To the city, to, to you and dad? I'm afraid of a war, of getting hurt, seeing the ones I love get hurt. But I'll always protect you. I would never let anything hurt you or dad. It's not always up to you, Echo. And besides, how can you protect us when we don't ever see you? Echo, I don't like where this conversation is going. What did you come back here to say? What if you stayed in Zon? And, and I came home all the time and looked after you and Dad? Or you came to live in the hideout. I bet it's safe there. And I could try and sell my inventions or, or figure things out. What if we figured things out? You come back into this home without so much as an apology and try to win me over with some grand plan about being a big hero? It, well, no, no, it's, it's not about me. Of course it's about you. You're not thinking about what we want, what makes us feel safe. What makes you think you know better than we do about how to look after ourselves when you haven't even been here? Son, you need to leave. Don't do this to your mother. Thank you for the flowers, Echo. Good luck with your inventions. This is wrong. This is entirely wrong. This is what future Echo would do. Push them, rewind and, and, and try tactics to get them to do something a certain way. I need to let them go. Hey! 
You're not supposed to be out after dark without a gas mask on. Thanks. I'm on my way home now. You have a good night. You too, kid. Echo? What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting to see you today. I know. I heard you and Mom were leaving the city. I wanted to come say goodbye. I wish you well. That's very kind of you. I, I know we've had some differences. Some tension. I know I haven't always been the best at keeping in touch. But I am always gonna be your son. Proud of it. That means a lot to me, Echo. Hey, you should come on in. Your mom will want to see you. Echo, hi. Look who's here to see us off. Hey, Mom. I couldn't let you go without saying goodbye. And that I think you're making the right decision to leave the city. Really? I would have thought you'd try to stop us. Maybe. But I trust you two to know what's best for you. <sighs> well, I appreciate you saying that. Also, I'm gonna stay in Zon. I might not be able to fix everything that goes wrong, but maybe I can make a difference. Make it a better place to live. Maybe one day, if you want, you could come back to visit. We'd like that, Echo. We're not sure where we'll end up yet, but we'll let you know where we get settled, okay? Sure. That'd be great. Uh, can I help you with anything? Last minute packing or carry your bags to the Rising Howl? <laughs> no, that's okay. We're gonna take a moment before we go. Thanks for stopping by, son. Okay. I travel safe. Love you. Love you too, Echo. Maybe this isn't how future Echo did things. But I don't want to use my zero drive to control the people I love. Speaking of which, I should talk to him. What happened? Did you convince them to stay? No. I, I tried, but, but then... If Mom and Dad want to leave Zahn and escape the war, then I'm not going to stand in their way. So they left. Again. You see, Echo, you can't count on people to stay around. So you've got to learn to do things for yourself. You've got it backwards. They can make their own choices without it being about you. They didn't get it. I was out in Zon every day trying to protect them. I was, am, doing everything I can to make Zon safe. So you come back to the past to stop the Poindestras from rising to power? Yes. It's the only hope we have. I should have believed you when you said things got bad. But trying to control everyone around you isn't the way to do things. Hey, I don't want that future for Zahn either. But I think I need some time to think all this through. Sure. It's a lot to think about. Yeah. I just need some space. I'll see you soon. Sorry. I know you wanted space, but 
I forgot to say before, um, there's a shipment of Syntexid at the point that they're arranging. I'm not gonna investigate it while you take space. Well, keep an eye out for anything weird. Thanks. Okay. Stuff's heavy. I need a break from talking about Syntixi for a minute. Do you remember the Wrath of Zahn? The kid's story? Sure. Yeah, well, I found the source material. Like, the monster? Monster. Uh, cool? Uh, where are you off to now? Somewhere to relax a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like you need a cultivator. Karina Veraza's cultivar is close by, you could try there. She's one of the kinder chem barons in the city, but I wouldn't be surprised if she was involved in some shady business, too. Hmm. Good to know. See ya, X. It would feel pretty good to get some fresh air and think about how to help future Echo. So I don't end up with his life. The Veraza cultivar isn't far. I'll go see if it's open. Karina, sweet Karina, we've got business to discuss. Don't you remember? Now is not a good time. I'm afraid this is a very urgent matter. A certain investment of yours depends on it. No, no, I, I cannot receive you now. You better go. <sighs> Who's in there with you? You haven't told them about the Syntixi, have you? <sighs> what reason? Come back later. So, Karina has some visitors. You lot stay here and observe who goes in and out. I want to know whose side she's on. Got it? Got it, boss. <laughs> she should know better. We'd be the most powerful team of Kemberans ever seen. If Karina Veraza and her cult bear are wrapped up in the Syntixi scheme, why wouldn't she want to talk to him about it? something going on inside that cultivar. Maybe I can find a way in. Karina Veraza is one of the richest commands in Zahn. And so is Zarkon. It makes sense that they're working together, but why doesn't she want to talk to him now? Maybe she... Huh. Better watch my step! Echo, you there? Yeah. Is everything good? I know I said I wanted space, but I went to the Veraza cultivar for some air. Then I saw Zarkon trying to get in, but she wouldn't let him, so I snuck in. But get this, there's Pharaoh's guards all over. Karina and Zarkon in cahoots would make sense, but Karina and Clan Pharaohs? Something's up. What's Red doing here? What? Focus, Echo. You need to figure out what's going on over there. I I've got to make sure Red's okay. This isn't a safe place to be, especially with all these pilties around. All right, fine. Just keep it quick, okay? I can't wait around for you. Have you ever considered using time travel? And then there's the hard way. You'd better speak up now, if you want to avoid talking to her. I've told you everything. Syntixi crystals are a point destra invention. I've nothing to do with them. Your chemical experiments here are no mystery, Karina. We know you struck a deal with Sarkhan. He wanted me to run some tests, that's all. But that muck is so volatile. So I, I gave it all back. I don't believe you. You're still storing Syntixi for the point destras. No! Well, not anymore. Your word is weak, Veraza. You ought to speak up and tell us where your stash of Syntixi is now. Be
before our intelligencer gets here. Damn! What did she do with her Syntixi stash? Wait a second. These crates are covered with Syntixi dust. And it's addressed to... Drake and Vale Poindestra! So Drake and Vale have a big stash of Syntixi now. Good to know. Hey, I just heard something interesting. It sounds like Karina Veraza was working with the Poindestras at one point. It makes sense. Kim Barons like to stick together in tough times. But she gave all her Syntixi back to Drake and Vale. I found a shipping crate with their names on it. Karina must be scared if she's spilling secrets. There was something about an intelligencer on the way. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find Red, and then meet me at the top of the cultivar? Oh. Well, maybe you should just leave her be. With all these guards around? I'll be quick. Don't worry. Cease now! Remain in place! You're not gonna be able to push me around, buddy. did come from Piltover. Hey! Tell me more about what things are like in the future. What do I invent? What do all my friends get up to? You know I can't really get into that, Echo. I gotta be careful not to mess everything up and tell you too much. Come on. Is it just a hint? Does Lim get to help more animals? Do, do I still have that ugly sweater Red made for me? Yeah. I still have the best sweater. Okay. And Lem does help more animals. But he'll help a lot of kids, too. So will Rums. Ellie and Axe go on to have a lot of adventures. Okay, that's it. No more out of me. <sighs> All right. I hope Red's careful around all these people. Sharp here. Ha! <laughs> 
build this place like a place. Did they purpose? Did they purposefully build this place like a playground? Interesting garden design choice. Maybe Red's up here. Whoa. What was that? Things can never just be calm and normal, can they? Oh, there she is. Hey, Red's not wrapped up in this Syntixie business too, is she? Red! What are you doing here? Hey, Echo! I'm hanging out with some of the Inks. You should come in. You can meet Chad. He's kind of my new boyfriend. Oh, um... Okay. Don't worry. The guards won't bother us here. That's Chad. Who's this? This is my, um, friend, Echo. Hey. <laughs> hey. Couldn't find a mirror? Oh, <laughs> that's just his look. What brings you guys up here? We came up to check out the view of the city. You know, after the spire burned. The shattered glass is really pretty. It sparkles when the light hits it. That's... romantic, I guess? Uh, no. We wanted to see the buildings that got smashed up. You can see all the fires better from up here, too. Sure. Have I seen you around before, Echo? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Real mysterious guy you brought me, Red. Echo is an inventor. He makes all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, yeah? Anything that might be interesting to me and the Inks? Probably not. You know, like little gadgets and toys made from scraps. Uh, we helped make a new pair of wings for a bird once. Right. Cool. Well, we really don't do stuff like that. We like to make a bigger statement. We're actually about something. Great. Well, I've actually got to run. Nice seeing you, Red. I'll catch you later. Actually, Red's gonna be hanging out with us later. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye, Echo. I'll see you, um, sometime. Wow. What a dick. Back in the city air. What the? Based on your reaction, you don't seem to know who I am. Oh, no. I definitely know a Pilty when I see one. Ah, uh, what charming deductive reasoning. I am the principal intelligencer of Clan Feros of Piltover. Can we skip this? What do you want with me? Certainly. Time waits for no one, except you, Echo. Clever child with a temporal manipulation device. Am I a man of mystery up in Piltover? On the contrary, you're a noisy little boy. Clan Pharos is the largest proprietor of Hextech crystals and technology in all of Runeterra. We track everything that goes in and out of our laboratories, including the lost crystal splinter in your... Mm, what do you call it? Zero drive? Why haven't you come after me sooner then? Until this moment, you've been nothing but a mild distraction. However, you're now interfering with my agent's investigation of the Poindestra family. 
I have but one option to straighten this unfortunate mess out. <laughs> Go home? Terminate your timeline. I see. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. A clever child with a temporal manipulation device might not be an enemy you want to make. I don't believe my hex-honed blades are an enemy you wish to make. Precision is paramount. <laughs> I see you've met Camille. Camille! <laughs> yeah, I've met Camille! Two echoes. <laughs> what? No, he, he's not. It is plain to see you've managed to invent a method to go even further back in time and have met up with your younger self. She's good. What are you looking for in your past? Investigating Syntixi crystals. Why are you telling her our plan? The Poindestris created Syntixi by supercharging our Hextech crystals. Clan Pharos does not support this kind of dangerous experimentation. And I intend to put a stop to it. That spire collapse was just one example of how dangerous Syntixi can be. And I fear the Poindestris have further examples in store. Actually, they've been gathering up Syntixi around the city since the Spire collapse. Karina Veraza gave the stash she was hiding here to Drake and Vale. Hmm. Perhaps we should work together. Affirmative. What? Well, we all want the same thing. Don't we? The Poindestres will be shipping that cache of Syntixi. If you can prevent this cargo from reaching its destination, I can seek out the remaining siblings. Consider it done. You will find Syntixi being loaded into the Poindestra's secret chain crawler. Head it off before it arrives. Good luck, Echoes. You've got to be kidding me! She's a Pilty! Yeah, who just gave us a good tip about the crystals. Alliances aren't bad, Echo. Neither are they permanent. Right now we have a job to do. I'll call you once I've located the chain crawler. Sargon asked if I was working with Clan Pharos, and now I guess I am. I don't like where this is going. Guess I could catch up on a few things while Future Echo looks for the chain crawler. Maybe my friends can tell me more about Camille too. I just don't trust her. Hey, what could you tell me about Camille of Clan Pharos? Ah, the Steel Shadow. She's quite a legend in Piltover. Camille does not appear much in public, but her work is seen and feared by many. What exactly is her work? Collecting intel on any activities that may interfere with Clan Pharos. And she's good at it. <laughs> More machine than woman, though. It's on, she's more of a monster. Like in the nursery, right? Hmm. I wasn't aware there was one. Keep your fingers out of pockets, keep your fingers off the green. Else a lady with stilettos will come and slice them clean. <laughs> Echo, I never 
get to see you this much. How's your day going? It's... going. Okay, well, you tell me if you spot any cool fashion around the city, all right? I've got to stay caught up on the latest lux. How do you feel about... plated legwear? Something really sharp. Hmm, that's neat. I don't mind a little metalwork. Uh, it's big up in Piltover, apparently. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later. Later. Hi, Rungs. Have you ever fought anyone who was very... How do I put this? Legs forward? Sure. It's a good strategy. It's tough to get close and land a hit on someone who knows how to kick. It's why you use your toys and gadgets, isn't it? To gain an advantage? My inventions are not toys. We'll get you there, Echo. After I'm done with you, you won't have to worry about anyone's legs ever again. <laughs> Thanks, Rugs. Lem, you're really good at getting animals to trust you. I trust them too. They're very honest. Animals don't lie or hide their feelings. I I don't have to guess if I'm right or wrong with them. Hmm. Never thought about it that way before. I found the chain crawler, and it's on the move. Head west. There's an opening to the tunnel you can drop right into. All right, all right. I'm on my way. Off to catch the Simtixi Express. <sighs> hey, ma'am. You okay? As good as I can be while Clan Pharos is still meddling in Zon. Clan Pharos? They do incredible things in metallurgy and hextech. If their guards are still in Zon this long after the tower collapse, they must not have found what they're looking for. Let's hope they find it soon. Then we can get our city back. <laughs> hey. hey, I can hear the chain crawler. Where are you? I found the perfect way to dispose of Syntixi once we get it from the Poindestras. Can you make it on board and take control? The steering mechanisms should be at the front of the chain crawler. I'll meet you there soon. Yeah, sure. Are you sure we can trust Camille? We all want to stop the Poindestras from destroying Zahn and Piltover, right? <sighs> Here we go. Made it onto the chain crawler. Now to find the Syntixi stash. Got this. Bail! Stop this train immediately and hand over the Syntixi! We had a feeling you'd show up and try and take our Syntixi for yourself. And you know what? It's all yours. What are you talking about? You wanted Syntixi? You got it. Can handle a little Syntixi. <gasps> so this is definitely a trap. <laughs> he got it right away. Clever, clever. Clever, just as Zarky said. Oh, great. Drake and Vale. Together. Well, we usually travel as a pair. It's just that certain business has kept us apart lately. Oh, but we've been terribly busy. Clearing out all the stinkiest neighborhoods of Zahn. We're doing a very good thing for Zahn. I think they'll have a parade for the whole Poindestra family when it's done. For Zarki and us and even... What's the matter with you two? Just leave me the hell alone. But we're just getting to know you, Echo. You see, we want to play a game. Ugh, you're so much worse than Zarkon. <laughs> Ready, Echo? We'll give you a half-second start. Not that it matters much to you, anyway. What's next, Echo? Not very good at this game, and uh perhaps we should have talked to the rules first. <laughs> Here they are. 
we smack you around until we're bored. Or until you're done. Or until you're dead. Whichever comes first, I... good thing can come from those twins. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. H hello? C can you hear me? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I found Drake and Vale. Those two are as annoying as it gets, but I don't think they'll be in our way anymore. Great. I'm just catching up to the chain crawler now. See if you can find the control car, and then the Poindestress and Tixie stash is ours. Okay, what are we doing with all these crystals anyway? I'll tell you when I get there. Huh? Just tell me now. This isn't all the Syntixi the Poindestras have, but it's a good portion of it. You didn't tell me earlier. What's your plan for all this Syntixi? Okay. Well, this is gonna sound nuts, but hear me out. No one in Zaun is ever gonna have to worry about Syntixi because it isn't going to exist anymore. We're gonna destroy it all, and we're gonna use it to destroy the biggest collection of Hextech crystals, too. We'll detonate it halfway in Zaun, halfway in Piltover. It'll take out all the ammunition that both sides have, and neither will be able to fuel an army to fight in a war. I mean, that's great and all, but how are you gonna avoid hurting innocent people in the explosion? Well, we, we can't avoid that. But at least the Syntixi will be gone forever, and can't start a war. So you're telling me that you took me on a stupid crystal hunt to stop bad guys from building Syntixi weapons, but now you're using them in an even bigger weapon? No, this isn't a weapon. It's a strategic maneuver. <laughs> I can't believe you. There's no way I'm letting you walk away with these crystals. That's how you want to be? Fine, have it your way.
I'll take it. I'm sorry. Wait a second. What are you doing? Echo, I'm sorry. I had to. I can save the city now. You're just gonna destroy everything. Everyone. You need to stop thinking about the seconds. Start thinking about what all those seconds add up to. You're on your own now. This isn't over. Not yet. How do I explain to my friends that my future self is planning to let off a Syntixi bomb in the city? I can't tell them about future Echo. Echo, I'm glad to see you. Sorry, Mr. Revik. I can't really talk right now. It's about those kids who were trying to steal from me earlier. The Inks. They've been carrying some big crates into the old Fenlock's theater, and I think they've got something bad planned. Yeah, sure, I, I can go look into it. Are you okay, Echo? Is something wrong? I did something recently, and it made someone really mad. But I'm mad too. And I don't know how to fix it. Hmm. It's easy to blame yourself when other people get hurt. But that just means you end up hurting too. And then, no one can help each other. <sighs> Which is what brought me to Zaun in the first place. I needed a place for a fresh start to make some money. <laughs> and one day, I can go look for my Oriana. I've got some apologies of my own to make. Your daughter's lucky to have you. Hey, Echo! Why so glum, chum? Just a confusing day. What's up with you? I'm on my way to catch the ink show. You should totally come! You know, I'm not really feeling up to being social right now. It'll be so loud, you won't have to talk to anyone. I don't know. Is this about Chad? I promise you won't have to hang out with him. He'll be busy with the show anyway. Okay. I'll go. Sweet. We're gonna have a blast. You'll see. I'll wait for you just outside the theater. Come and meet me when you're ready. You're here. Let's go. And relax. This is going to be fun. Chad's been telling me about the show all week. Sounds like they put a lot of hard work into it. I'm so proud of him. Red, do you ever wonder what she'll be like in the future? You mean, what will I do when I grow up? More like, what kind of person you'll be. I never thought of it that way before, but I guess I'll be a better version of myself. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Are you sure you can trust the Inks? I mean, they aren't dangerous. I mean, they idolize Jinx. They don't want to hurt people. Okay, I trust you. Hey, will you be okay if I try to find Chad really quick? He said he's working on a surprise for the show and I need to know what it is. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, be back in a minute. It's hard to get excited about seeing a concert when your future self is plotting to blow up part of the city. And when Chad is involved, I wonder what she sees in him. Huh? Hello? What kind of show is this? Floating! How? How the hell are we supposed to get down? Do you think she came to see the show? I mean, we're doing all this for her! 
Definitely. We are like her biggest fans. We'd do anything for her. Cold stiff. Is that Syntixi? Jinx is using it now too? I can't let Jinx throw explosives at a bunch of innocent kids, even if they do have terrible taste in role models. I've got to stop her. Jinx is throwing her explosives around. It's, it's not safe here. Don't you scare her away from our concert! the loose cannon for nothing. I want to smash him. Uh, I'd rather you didn't. Come here, little guy. Why are you fighting me? I I'm trying to help you. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Now that's gonna be useful. Jinx loves the show. And herself. So why is she trying to hurt her fan club? Can't you just let me do my own thing once in a while? You didn't tell me you were going to launch the theater into the sky. What about all the explosives going off? You just don't get it. We're making a statement. What's the statement? I, I don't think you're a good fit for the Inks, Red. Maybe you should find another gang to hang out with. And a new boyfriend. <sighs> Maybe I should give them some space. This must be Jinx's dream. <laughs> Sorry, Echo. This is the VIJ area. You're gonna have to get out of here. I should have known you'd be involved with something like this. Are you kidding? This is the sloppiest show I've ever seen. But I never took you to be someone who got others to do their dirty work. Oh, hey, now hold it right there, short stuff. Got nothing to do with these copycats. They're stealing my thing. I only came by to make sure they give up trying to be me. You expect me to believe that you don't love seeing all these firecrackers go off? <laughs> yeah. And who's getting all the credit for it? I'm gonna split this band up once and for all and make sure they find a permanent new look. Something really smoking. I'm not gonna let you hurt them, Jinx. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say, Echo. Hey, why don't we see what Pow Pow thinks? Now hold still. But my hit parade is bullet! Look who I brought! done this a long time ago! I think we interact a healthy amount, Jinx, which is never. <gasps> well then, I look forward to never seeing you again after I squash ya! Ha! Yo-yo-yo! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Z-powered chompers. Where'd you get them? <laughs> I met some twins who gave them to me in exchange for a little contract work. Wanted me to cause a big distraction so they could loot a mansion or something. Drake and Vale? Yeah, them! I turned down the offer, but snuck off with their box of sparkly bombs. Wanna see one up close? We're not quite finished here. Do you have a way of contacting Future Echo? Sure. I've got an idea. Future Echo? I'm at the Finlocks Theater and Camille tracked me down. She's angry about the Syntixie. She's blaming me for letting the Syntixie go. Her, her blades are two steps away. What's going on here? I knew if my life was threatened, your life would be too. You shouldn't have betrayed us. I advise you to be forthcoming, future Echo. Since you seem to know who I am, you are undoubtedly familiar with my methods of extracting information. There is a war coming. Is, is that what you wanted to know? That Piltover will crumble, screaming into golden dust? I'm trying to save both of our cities from a disastrous fate. You're forgetting one detail. He's building a bomb with the Poindestra Syntixie. To blow up Piltover? To destroy the Syntixie and your Hextech Crystal Vault. It's the catalyst of the conflict. Some parts of both Piltover and Zon will get caught in the blast. It's true. But it's the only thing that will stop the war. That can't be true. There must be other options. You think I haven't tried? You think you know better than I do? I need a little more Syntixie. And then this will be finished once and for all. <laughs> He doesn't have enough Syntixi yet. There's still time. But first, I need to get back to the hideout and fix up my gear. Then I can figure out where the final Syntixi cache is and stop him. You should come too. To your... clubhouse? It's a safe place where we can piece together what we know. All right. I accept your invitation. What do you make of your future self? It's not every day that one meets their destiny. There's a lot he's hiding from me. Perhaps he believes he is protecting you. Men go mad when they know their own fate. Don't tell me that. My fate is to be an over-controlling time traveler, apparently. Why did he need you and ask for your help? I must be the only person he can trust. Himself. I was referring to your zero drive. There must not be many other time travelers in the future. Not with devices like that. And then there's the matter of the Syntixi crystals. It seems they are rather abundant in a future zone. Possibly built over too. Tension will become even worse between the two cities. Not to mention people getting hurt. Exactly. And our economy does not work particularly well when everyone is dead. 
Do you mind if I check in with some people really quickly? Not at all. I shall take a look at the local vendors. <laughs> hey, uh, what I miss? <laughs> Piltover hasn't changed much since I left. Some things never do. Camille of Clan Pharos. Gosh, I never expected to meet this woman face to face in my life. And from what it sounds like, neither did you. But I'm proud to see that you're taking a chance on someone who's different than you, Echo. Well, I've been learning not to judge people quite so hard. They can be full of surprises. I hope to see you and your creations back in Piltover again someday, Mr. Revik. Maybe my daughter will be there too. Oriana would love to meet you. A reunion to look forward to. But I'll let you two catch up. Take the stairs when you're ready to go to the hideout. Good luck with whatever you two are up to. <laughs> Ellie, I feel like I've been all over the city lately. Do you have a favorite place in Zon? Good question. I'd say... The old August fairgrounds. My mom used to take me and my sister, and we always won prizes and went on rides. What's there now? Now that you mention it, I don't know when it was last open. I heard it's now a dumping ground or a prison for all kinds of science experiments gone wrong. Enter if you dare. <laughs> well, Ellie, the thing about science is, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. <laughs> Get it? Never tell that joke again, okay? Fine. <laughs> I'll see you later, Ellie. I know it's a secret. Got it? You're speaking to an intelligence, I remember. Um... I'll be right back. Boy, genius's work is never done. <laughs> Something like that. Hey. About the theater. Echo, I am so sorry about what happened with the Inks. And the theater, and... I can't believe they put everyone in danger like that. I can't believe I couldn't see what the Inks were doing. It's not your fault. What happened to Chad? I'm done with Chad. You deserve better than him. And the Inks. And me. What are you talking about? You're like the best at friendship. And taking care of Zahn. I do what I can. But sometimes that doesn't even feel like enough. But you're safe now. And you'll always be a part of the gang here. Even if you, I don't know, move out of Zahn and become the mayor of Piltover? <laughs> Thanks, Echo. That means a lot to me. Sure. Well, um, I'll leave you be. Catch you later. I found the secret room. What secret room? Right. That secret room. How did I not know this was here? In my own hideout. This is clearly Future Echo's headquarters. A hideout in a hideout. How very me. It's going to take me a few moments to decode this. I'll look around. Dead chronoports. Hmm. Huh. He's marked something by the August fairgrounds on this map. The Poindestra coat of arms? He's been coming back to the past over and over again, trying to fix something in our timeline. But he says here that this is his last chance. His last chance to stop a war in his future. That explains all the chronoports. He's been trying to buy himself more time. He's getting desperate. Which is why he's willing to set off a bomb if it'll stop the war. Did you find anything? There's a marked location on this map. It must be where the Poindestras have another stash of Centixi. The last amount he needs before his plan is complete. 
What if he's working with the Poindestress, and they're helping him build the bomb? He is a perfectionist in crisis. He would never leave the future in anyone else's hands. Not anymore. I've got to find him. I'm gonna head to the fairgrounds and see if I can stop this bomb. I'll stay here a bit longer and see what more I can learn from his things. There is a chance we can save both Piltover and Zorn from destruction tonight. Be careful. Thanks. Good luck. Time to get some answers from Future Echo at the fairgrounds. Mom? Dad? What, what are you two doing here? We're out running some errands. What have you got there? Uh, oh, uh, um, it's just some stuff. Some inventing stuff? Wait, are, are you holding a clock hat? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I found it. And my friends and I are going to make a thing. Okay. Well, um, I hope you have fun. Will you be home for dinner later? We picked up some nice smoke root that your mom is going to work wonders with. I don't know. I might be out tonight. That's our boy, Wyatt. He keeps his own clock that we don't get to see. Come see us another night, honey. We miss you. Uh, uh, come home. I want you to know that no matter what, no matter where I go, no matter what I do, I'm always going to come home. Even if it takes a while. And we'll always have a spot for you. Okay. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Fairgrounds, Future Echo, Tixie Bomb. <laughs> you little snot! Come on, you're wasting my time! Let me smash him! Future me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. This place isn't going to be creepy at all. Private property. Construction site of the Poindestra Clock Tower. Looks like they're going to tear down the old fairgrounds, too. Guess I need a switch to open this door. Can't be far. <laughs> Gate is open. Is your echo? Hello? C can you hear me? Echo? Where are you? I'm coming to find you. I'm doing this alignment. I'm doing this alone, kid. It's better for everyone. Not the people who get caught in the blast. Seriously? <laughs> Future Echo? I'm gonna do everything I can to keep Zon safe. So you might as well work with me. I could say the same thing to you. You're the one letting innocent people die. I've seen a lot of innocent people die already, Echo. A few city blocks in the promenade and a chunk out of Pharaoh's Manor is nothing in comparison. I can't believe I ever grow up to be able to justify something like that. Believe it. So caught up in this future war that he isn't thinking clearly about the present. Be next. Just 
Show up already! Hearing things now, right? Can't deal with Warwick again. It would have been nice to visit this place. Go on these rides with my friends. Back when there wasn't Syntixi. Or Future Echo. It already feels like a long time ago. Hey, why did it stop? There must be a way to turn it on again. Be honest with me. How many times have you come back to this timeline to mess things around? I've never come this far back before. I've tried so many times to make a difference. None of it did until I figured it out. The spire collapse. Syntixi scattered. That's it. I don't care about that. I care about what you're doing now. What makes you any better than Zarkon? Because I'm trying to do the right thing. Eventually, Zarkon will send the Syntixi forces to launch an attack on Piltover. Pharos will retaliate, and then it all crumbles. If I can destroy both the Syntixi and the Crystal Vault of Pharos Manor in this explosion, there will be no ammunition for anyone. It's the best shot we've got at peace. <laughs> and how are you gonna do that? You're gonna walk into Pharos Manor with a bag of Syntixi? No need. I found the perfect vantage point, sitting just above Zaun, just below Piltover. The clock tower. So you're not even at the fairground. Echo! Echo! Damn it! I need to get out of here and get to the clock tower. Uh. Well, well, well. If it isn't the boy who shattered time. Sarkon. When I was informed that the last batch of Syntixi had been snatched from the fairgrounds, and that the suspect had strange gadgets and a sharp white haircut, there was only one person who came to mind. I'm not the one you're after. He's in the clock tower. You've done enough to destroy the Poindestra family. I won't let a smarmy teenager ruin everything I've worked for. Zahn is better off without you people. You're greedy and cruel and evil. You've got a lot to learn about the world, boy. Only the selfish survived. A lesson you're about to learn right now. Huh? <laughs> 
You're good at that. Practice. I ran into Zarkon at the fairgrounds. Future Echo took the rest of the point Destra Syntixi from him before I arrived. My guards have detected a large mass of Syntixi at the top of this structure. That must be the bomb. I'll take the stairs. Meet you at the top? My thoughts exactly. Good luck, Echo. This is it. We're gonna stop this thing. in crisis. That's what Camille said. And what I become. Maybe it was the war that made him that way. But maybe it was the zero throw drive too. I, I invent things because I can and I'm curious. But I never really thought about how they would change me. I don't have to be like him. And I won't. Careful. He set up a barricade. It won't hurt you. But it'll be like trying to move through some sludge. Can you break through it with your temporal gadgets? Yeah. Definitely. I'll stand watch until he deactivates the barrier. Echo! What are you doing here? I'm here to help you. There has to be another way to stop the war from happening. Don't you think I've tried? This is it, Echo. Then you haven't tried hard enough. There's always a way. There's a war, Echo. A war more painful and destructive than you can possibly imagine. And Zahn isn't the good guy. The only way to stop it all is to let the Syntixi crystals be destroyed in the past. And it's gonna work this time. Please! This bomb is gonna destroy half of Piltover and half of Zaun! You're not destroying my city tonight. I'm not gonna hurt you! Why can't you ever listen to me? You 
can't stop me. How could you? This is so much bigger than you know. I'm not trying to hurt you. Why can't you ever listen to me? Understand. I have to do this. I'm not trying to hurt you. Why can't you ever listen to me? your fault it's not up to you to fix the world all by yourself I know I know you're right despite what I may have said earlier you're a good person and I know that everything you do is because you love this city and me there might be another way look we've been tearing at time I don't understand We've ripped the fabric of this timeline, and maybe that's the key. Will you start rewinding your zero drive? Our drives are pulling in opposite directions, and we can open the fissure wider. Enough for the Syntixi. And then it'll be out of this timeline for good. That thing is gonna be a vacuum. It'll suck the entire clock tower in with it. I know. I'm gonna seal it as soon as the Syntixi is inside. On the count of three, turn off your zero drive. Okay? Okay. One, two, three. Let go, or you'll get sucked in too. It won't close from here! It has to be sealed! From the inside! What are you saying? I hope one day... You can be proud of me! What are you doing? No! Echo, are you alright? He's gone. Where? I... don't know. He took the bomb... out of time. How do you mean? Our zero drives made a time fissure, and... he sealed himself inside with the Syntixi. I don't know where he went. So he's gone. That means you're free. You aren't doomed to follow his fate. Yeah. I guess. The future of Syntixi is no longer possible. My agents have captured what remains of the Poingdestras and their crystal production. Our cities are safe now. There's no Syntixi, no bomb. We're all safe. But... What's gonna happen to me?
Tixie and me. It's just me. All on my own now. But at least you're safe. But listen, you have everything ahead of you. You don't have to become me. You can give your heart to the world and make it a better place. And if you can, forgive me. I wanted to show you something, and tell you about someone I met. Do you have some time to spare? <laughs> 